strangest thing that I came up to, uh, to for being thankful for this year was for actually being a pharmacist. And I know with a bunch of pharmacists sitting here and people that are going to be watching this, you're probably going, wait, you're a pharmacist. What do you mean you're, you know, you, you weren't thankful before? And I can tell you, no, I have almost left the profession two or three times. Next year's my 30th year. I've worked in five or six different spaces in it. And each time, in, you know, in some ways it was like, how much longer can I just you know, get through. And, and I feel bad about that in some ways, but it was trying to find that place. Um, and I can say that now, like today I had a, a call with a, with a client and I was like, if I had not been a pharmacist for the past 30 years, I could not have had these conversations. I've realized my support is with connections with people, like true, actual people, not likes on Facebook, not comments from random people, but true conversations and actually serving others. I can tell and you, I have not made a lot of true authentic relationships in pharmacy. They have been kind of sparse here in between because I've had a lot of painful experiences. And it's it's really, even to this day, it's it's hard for me to know how to trust, who to trust, and when to trust. <laughs> um, and so, you know, when I think about that, that's what I, I'm so grateful that Kevin and Sean has started this community because that's what I really see it as a community. And I'm hoping that in, um, in this year that more leaders will embrace diversity, <laughs> lead for inclusion and navigate change with grace. And get out of the silos and break them down because healthcare is moving to proactive care. Mm -hmm. Massive amounts of this. Like, I think this, I mean, this just, I'm like ready to cry looking at just the people that are here that are in that I've already met. And I really just want to meet everybody else. Um, there's so much, you know, there's so little time in the day. And I know the holidays are so jam packed, but I can't wait into 2023 to be able to actually have, you know, more one on ones and be able to support all of you and all of the pharmacists that are out there that are looking for that. Um, and figuring out how to piece all of these different puzzle pieces together, right? Because I think that's what's so unique about this group. And this platform is that it's like a big puzzle, right? We all have like this missing piece of what our profession needs to bring it all back together. So um, I'm just super excited to be part of this community and yes, to get our functional medicine channel launched. Very what I'm really grateful is to be able to show pharmacy technicians that there is so many other opportunities, both within pharmacy, um, across different you know sectors of pharmacy and then even outside of pharmacy to take their skills, to take their knowledge, and to be able to apply that and marry that with their passions. Um, I think we all can take a step back and say, we took a hard look at what we really want in life during COVID, um, certainly for me. I'm really hoping that we will see more integration and more prevention, and that's my mission, like self-care, empowerment, prevention, leveraging our foods and herbs and lifestyle so that we can, um, balance out the food scale and the dr drug scale like you know the fda is the two arms that balance but they've been too heavy in drugs and not enough on the other side in my opinion obviously i want to support all the patients that i can so whether that's me impacting them personally um if i can go out there and do that or to be able to help other pharmacists be able to do that in whatever settings that they are in whether it's the community hospital um, entrepreneurial, whatever it is. For those that are lost in the profession and even those that may be thinking about leaving the profession, I think there's still a lot of room at the table for pharmacists outside of dispensing. And that's really why I'm here today and so thankful to be here today, for sure. You know, answering those questions confidently uh, for for our little our little patients that are, are that make us all a little bit scared. Um, even 11 years, 12 years in, I still sometimes pause and I'm like, this is this is a really intimidating question. So um, just using the channel and uh, continuing to, to grow uh, with you guys, but also with the intent of just affecting and multiplying the amount of pediatric and maternal patients that we can we can keep safe. And so
you know, I want to be able to start making a difference in a pharmacist's life. Because when I was going through the big mess I was going through, I had a lot of questions, essentially zero support. Um, I didn't know what to do, what the heck was going on. Um, so, you know, this next year, I want to be able to really connect with pharmacists who was in, you know, my position, you know, you know, over five years ago and really be able to help them and then feel fulfilled. Like this year has been... We have seen such a huge emergence of a lot of different um, leaders in pharmacy, you know, and people just really taking up, you know, the um, having the boldness to, you know, to step out, you know, to to speak out and to take actions. And I'm just being so really being amazed by the bravery of everyone, especially our front lines worker. And I just want us to be able to have these transparent conversations about what is the culture of pharmacy. Let's address the elephants in the room and let's come together and be the change that we need to see. So that's really my mission and hope. And I hope that in 2023, we will have created a whole, like, I don't know, like this transformation of light and grace and love within our profession so that we can actually deliver on quality care for all patients. It's definitely been a blessing. And it I think it's just amazing that we are all here together and moving our profession forward in different ways. And um, I am really thankful that, I, you know, um, our PHLI um, is in existence. I have been a strong um, advocate of having an umbrella for all pharmacists. You know, I've as most of you know, I've been doing this for three decades, and um, I've seen the good, the bad, ugly of pharmacy overall um, in all the different industries. And I think it's long overdue that there is a association that is for pharmacists, by pharmacists, and and it's all about collaboration and relationships. And I think that's what really drew me in. You know, again, being in independent pharmacy, you feel like you're boxed in, but the possibilities are endless and having the support of everyone on this panel, I feel like it just gives you that second wind and um, hope for where the future is for for pharmacy and pharmacists. I I think about how this is just the beginning and I feel, and I I see bigger, you know, bigger revolution. I see more people finally realizing who they are, you know, and having the power to stand up and to speak for themselves, you know, I will, I, I will hope, and I would like to see a lot more changes happening within the associations, you know, within state, you know, and finally just a profession really coming together and not be as divisive as as we have always been. Um, you know? So for me, this is getting back into the pharmacy for me, and it, it feels it feels great. And so I try to then show that kindness to other people. And I think that that paying it forward kind of helps build those relationships. And so that is what I want to be thankful toward the end of next year. Just more people like all of you guys that I've been blessed to meet and meet more, more people and just continue to help each other and help lift each other up.